Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Have you ever had a really good hair day or styled your hair for the night and felt like your curls were looking so good that you didn't want to sleep on them because you didn't want to wake up looking like a hot mess? Fear not, I'll show you a few tips on how to protect your hair overnight and also how to maintain your next day curls. So the best way to protect your hair overnight is to put it up in a pineapple. And all you really have to do is gather all of your hair to the top of your head and wrap it one time so as to not indent the curls. I sleep on a satin pillowcase to reduce the frizz while tossing and turning while I sleep. If you don't have a satin pillowcase, you can always use a satin bonnet or scarf. Sometimes, even on a good hair day, if I feel like my ends seem like they're beginning to dry, I'll scrunch just a touch of coconut oil to my ends and then leave them overnight for added moisture. I didn't feel it was necessary this night. In the morning, one of the first things I do is restyle my hair. So first, I gently pull off the hair tie to release the curls. Then I fluff my hair out a bit and shake out whatever stiffness was created overnight. I check to see if there are any areas that need some touching up. With a spritz bottle that contains water and conditioner, I spray the edges of my hair to reactivate any product that was put in the day before. And because the back of my hair is the driest, I never forget to spray the water and conditioner in that area. After spraying the edges, I smooth down my hair. Then I grab some conditioner. Lately I've been using Andalou Naturals Lavender and Biotin Conditioner. I add just a little bit to the palm of my hand and I smooth that down my ends. After smoothing out the ends, then I fluff a bit to add some volume. I grab a bit more conditioner and I apply that to the edges of my hair, smoothing it down to tame the flyaways. Then I give it a few scrunches and I leave it alone. I usually give my hair some time to dry, so during this time I'm probably doing my makeup or getting dressed for work. This time around, it doesn't take my hair that long to dry, so what I normally do is I grab a pick and I rake the roots and lift. This just adds more volume. Of course, I fluff my hair out a bit more, and sometimes I even shake it out, and then I'm usually good to go. I hope you found this information helpful, and if you have any other tips when it comes to protecting your hair overnight, please leave that in the comment below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up for more curly haired videos and I will see you in the next video. Bye!